Hi, my name is Jimmy Day, and this is my 1969 AMX, known as AMXS. I run a company called FM3 Performance Marketing, and, and we specialize in automotive events like the Road Trip Cars and Cones, like Holly's LS Fest, like the Hot Rod Power Tour. This AMX was built kind of as the epitome of what I think a, a true street car slash competitive time trial car should be. So we started with something really unique. I bought the car in 2002. It's a 69 AMX. This car originally came with a, a 343 AMC and we replaced this with a GM Performance Parts LS3. Then we move on back. We've got a Bowler LGT700 transmission in the car bolted to a Ford 9 inch rear end. The car's not putting out a ton of horsepower. It's got 450 horsepower at the rear wheels, but the car weighs just a skosh over 3,100 pounds, and with the 97-inch wheelbase, you can over-horsepower this car really fast. When we built the car, we added a lot of other things as well. We put in a, a super high-performance cooling system, so it's got an oil cooler, big giant aluminum radiator. We've got an AccuSump system in order to keep the oil flowing through some of the big high-speed turns that we take and keep the LS3 oiled up. The suspension system really is the heart and soul of this car though. And we started out and, and built this really with, with Ride Tech components. So we've got Ride Tech triple adjustable shocks on all four corners. And that really makes the car streetable in any condition. So freeways, country roads, in town, you name it, it's really streetable. But then with just a few clicks of a button, you can turn this thing into a, a road race monster. And it corners like it's on rails. We needed to make sure the car would stop. So we put great big giant Willwood brakes on the car. And Willwood built the brakes for this car as a prototype for their new system. And it's, it's full floating rotors on all four corners. So we don't deal with any kind of piston knockback whatsoever. We've got six piston calipers on 13 inch rotors on all four corners. We redid the interior to make it a little more comfortable. I wanted to stick with the heritage look of the AMC. But what we did is we put all new auto meter gauges in the existing holes in the dash so it still looks kind of like AMC designed it. We also took out the factory seats and put in some Recaro six-way adjustable heated and air conditioned seats. We also installed a Ritec Tiger cage system in it for safety. Um, we've got a Sparco removable steering wheel. We've got some Willwood pedals in the car just to make it really, really drivable. And um, last but not least, we put some Forge Line wheels and Falcon tires on the car because that's where literally the rubber hits the road. The car was finished kind of as you see it in 2011. We've made a couple of updates to it, but as it sits with that LS motor in it, the car has just over 27,000 miles on it, and it's been on a trailer one time when it got rained on and got some water in the electronics. So it's been very reliable, very fun. It's been from coast to coast and border to border, all under its own power. It's been at tracks all across the country, and it's driven there under its own power, and it's just been a real thrill to own.